it is wedding season, which means these next few months we're attending multiple nuptials, right? Which also means rocking different outfits for all of these weddings. But seriously, Instagram and Facebook have made it a lot harder and so expensive when attending somebody else's wedding. Everyone's snapping pictures, sharing them. So you can't wear the same outfit that you wore at one wedding to another wedding, right? Or can you? Well, stylist and fashion expert Don De La Rosa is here to help find ways around repeating outfits without getting called out by your friends on Instagram. Because you know that's the first thing they're ready to, to mention on your mention page. I saw you wearing that and so-and-so's wedding and just blow up your spot. So Don, do you feel that there's a certain amount of time you have to wait before you wear the same outfit to another event? Yes, absolutely. It's so difficult trying to figure out when you can wear it again. I usually give it at least six weeks if you're going to wear it to a dressy event, but you can give it less time than that if you do switch it up and kind of dress it down or wear it for work. All right, let's start with the basic looks right now. The, the classic bla basic black cocktail dress, all right? Now, you reworked it not once, but twice. Explain to us what you did here. Yeah, so I took this little black cocktail dress that everybody really has in their wardrobe and we kind of fear wearing it again. The first way I did it with your classic heels, a bracelet kept it really simple for our wedding. And then we took this dress, this really nice black dress, and made it appropriate for work. So I took the basically a little blazer. Uh, I like to use a, a blazer that is a uh, different color because it really contrasts against the black and paired it with a belt and some different heels. A closed toe heel always works better, usually for weddings and really dressed up. We tend to wear more open toed heels, but a closed toe makes it a little bit more appropriate for work and really changes the look of the dress itself. Uh, I think blazers are absolute go-tos go for switching up the look of a, of a dress uh, in many different ways. You can do it with your black jacket with a lot of zippers on it. This makes it a little bit more edgier uh, for, for a dress too. Okay, well, let's talk about another outfit. Now, you've reimagined a memorable pale pink studded dress in three different ways. Take us through this whole entire process because this, this one was pretty impressive. I did. I love this. This is one of my favorite dresses, and it was something that I knew. How do you wear this again? It's a real, it's pink, it's embellished, it's flowy. It's definitely more of a dressed up dress. But if you look at it, and I and, and pairing with, you know, your really fancy jewels and sparkly shoes, it looks dressed up. But then if you take a dress like this and wear it with a leather jacket and put on an edgy pair of lace-up black heels that we're seeing everywhere, you can wear this for a girl's night out, for cocktails with your friends on a Friday night, and it does not look like the dress that you wore to the wedding last week. Then, if you really want to dress it down and make it appropriate for the weekend, a little bit of shopping, maybe out on the town a little bit, I took a denim shirt and just tied it at the waist, paired it with some flats and a little tote bag, and you're good to go for the weekend. This really, really dressed the, the whole thing down. It looks like a skirt with just a denim top. I love how you put it, uh, you made it into a, a skirt and a top. You put the leather scot on the, on the bottom. How do you fit all that dress underneath the skirt? You, you have to teach me that trick right there. Yeah, so I like, what I like to do is look for A-line dresses, tulip skirts, something that's a little bit more full so that way you don't see the fullness of the dress underneath. Here the skirt is a, a little bit more fitted, but it's not a body conscious skirt. You don't want something that's super tight to the waist or to the legs where you would see the underneath, underneath of the dress poking out too much. So you want something a little bit with a little bit more flow to it or texture. Don, thank you so much. I have the ultimate challenge for you. It's called My Closet. So if you're uh. ever in Hollywood, come on over. There's plenty you can remix in there, okay? <laughs> 